Give it up for Mike, everybody. So, uh, yeah. All right, at least the microphone's fixed now that I'm up. Thank the Lord. Uh, yeah, so I recently turned 21, which is great, you know, because now I gotta get a new fake ID. And I know you guys are like, why, Alex, why do, you, why do you need to get a new fake ID? I have to get a new fake ID that says I'm 16, because I've always wanted to fuck Miley Cyrus. Really bad. Honestly, now I have to wait until November until she has venereal diseases, so that's not really good. But yeah, I just turned 21 recently, so I've been going to clubs a lot more. You know, I was at a club this past uh, Friday, and fuck oh, shit, I was faded. I was faded, as they say in Miami. But I was really, really drunk. Thanks to Jack Daniels and Jim Bean, my imaginary friends that I used to highlight my alcoholism. So we're in the club, you know, everyone's, Everyone's there, it, it, get, it gets late, so all my friends are like, all right, I'm leaving, so I'm like, all right, let's go. And when I said, all right, let's go, I was talking to the fat girl on the back that was crying. <laughs> yeah, I'm a gentleman, all right, I took care of her. All my friends took home the beautiful woman, I took home the fat girl. But yeah, she was crying because she thought they served food at the club, which I don't know who sent her that memo, maybe it was Rosie O'Donnell. But, yeah, so, I'm like, come on, no one wants to, I'll fucking have you, come on, let's go, let's go, I'll roll you to my car if that has to happen, <laughs> somehow, if I can get you into my car, to my house, and we could, fuck, I wish the fucking wireless microphone was working right now, imagine if I did my act like this, so, uh, yeah, airplanes are pretty weird, but, uh, yeah, so we get to my house, things start getting hot and heavy, more heavy than anything, though. Especially when uh, she was on top. She was like a koala bear looking for the food, like, Bro! Oh! Hurry up already! I need to get home so I can eat some arroz con pollo! Yeah, and she sounded like a man. That's why I did that impression. But yeah, so an hour and a half passes by. She's actually, her name was Cecilia, and I know everyone here knows a fucking Cecilia. Every club has a Cecilia in it. Every club has a... That girl, there's a Cecilia in here tonight. There's a Cecilia in here tonight. I wonder who's gonna bring her home. Who's bringing home Cecilia tonight? This guy over here, he's looking at me like, I'm fucking bringing her home. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, an hour and a half passes by and she's already satisfied, of course, because I'm a fucking love maker, I'm a sex machine. <laughs> that's what, you know, that's my name on Facebook. Sex, first name, machine, last name. So, you know, and, and she starts trying different things like hand, mouth, you know, the regular things that you try. And then she starts trying the weirdest shit, the weirdest shit. And I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I'm still going to say it anyway. She starts using her feet. She's like, should I use my knees, my, my ears, my... And then she, before I know it, she starts using her hair. She wraps her hair around my dick and starts pulling it in like she's really in a fish. She's like... Or like asking for the tab, like, this guy's like funny. He looks like Tom Cruise's retarded brother. What the fuck is he doing on stage? But yeah, so, and he, what's even worse after that was I had to drive her home, which, you know, that's the worst thing when you can't uh, perform good in bed and you have to drive the girl home after, that's really bad. But the worst thing was that she was, she looked like, oh, I can't even explain it. But I don't, I don't know if you guys realize this, but every time I get in my car, it's like a chonga stole my car while I was sleeping and then dropped it off in the morning because every fucking day when I get in my car, no matter what I put in, because my CD player is broken out so I listen to the radio. I can't listen to my Justin Bieber CD, which fucking pisses me off. But every time I get in my car, Power 96. You guys know Power 96? Come on, you were listening. Everyone was listening to it, you know? All that stupid, those stupid songs. But whatever, you know, and that voice, the power 996. That fucking voice creeps the shit out of me. I don't know if it creeps. Like, that sounded like my creepy old uncle that we never invited to family events. And he always smelled like the weirdest shit. Like, he smelled like gasoline in a dentist's office, but he had no teeth, so why would he smell like a dentist's office? But this fucking song came on. <laughs> this song came on, and it's the worst song in history. It starts off, it's like, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. I got my blah, 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 I'm gonna hit the city. Then she's like, before I leave, I brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. I'm like, how can I relate to that? Like, honestly, I've never been in a situation where, like, I'm like, Mom, 
We're fucking out of toothpaste. And she's like, oh, son, uh, we have some maker's mark in the, in the top cabinet. And then she's like, she always sounds like she has to pee really bad. She's like, I gotta pee real bad, bad. Where's the nearest restroom? <laughs> like, bitch, because you fucking brush your teeth with alcohol, maybe you should try brushing your teeth with maybe beer. Start off with beer. And if that doesn't work, you can go to harder liquor. But, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that one occurrence with the, with the fat girl, and I don't mean to say fat girls in a hurtful way because I, you know, I, I tend to like fat girls. I actually have BBM, Big Bitch mess Messenger. And so that's, you know, I'm a, I'm a friend to the large, large people. So, this guy over here. Yeah, so, you know, but other than that one occurrence, I've, uh, I have, I've been on a cold, guys call this a cold streak, you know, where you haven't really slept with many women. And I blame that mostly on my friends because they're fucking cock blockers. Like, they have a fucking doctorate in cock blocking. Literally. And it's come to a point where my dick now has an offensive line. So, yeah. And I nicknamed my dick uh, Brett Favre the other day. And, but don't worry, ladies. He's not retiring anytime soon. And I can get it out without a Viagra. But uh, you guys have been great. I'm Alex Stensby, that's my time. Give it up for Alex Stensby.